Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the beauty family. And if you are just tuning back, I appreciate your support. Thank you for coming through, showing you girls some love, because <laughs> that view is everything. So thank you, thank you. I'm pretty much going to be following up on my skin, my perioral dermatitis, um, and all that good stuff. So it's another follow-up and answering more questions. So if you pretty much want to see how I keep up with my skin, my skincare routine, and answering you guys' questions, stay tuned. Up with my skin, my skincare routine, and answering you guys' questions, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're jumping right into this video. Um, I'm pretty much going to be going over the perioral dermatitis. If you are just new and you haven't seen my last two videos um, and you're obviously here for a reason because you need help or you just have questions or you know somebody that may have it, um, but perioral dermatitis is pretty common. It's pretty common. I am a makeup artist and I've been experiencing perioral dermatitis since I was a kid. So it's something I've had for several years. Um, I can, I, I'm gonna honestly say more than like, what, 10 years, I'm 20 years, I'm sorry. Definitely more than 20 years, um, but it's on and off. It's a off and on kind of thing. And what perioral dermatitis pretty much is, is acne and eczema in one. And it's horrible. So for those who um, can relate, understand where I'm coming from, so I'm definitely here to help, just to share my knowledge, what's worked for me naturally, without any medication, um, and what's continue to work for me, and what I do to keep up, or if when I have any flare-ups. Um, so yeah, so thank goodness I haven't had a flare-up in a quite some uh, quite some time. It's been a long time, but when I do feel it coming through, I pretty much have a routine that I do. Um, I have several products here that I'll be showing um, and going through. So, pretty much, um, as I mentioned, I'll be following up with my skincare routine. I'm going to be showing you guys is, um, some, what, some masks that I use that are pretty much good for our skin type. I'm going to also show you some exfoliators that you can use that are good, that'll be good for our skin type and all that good stuff. And I'll be answering some questions as well. If I'm looking down, I'm just pretty much looking at my notes. I wanna make sure that I cover everything. Um, so yeah. But really quickly, have you guys noticed? I'm, out. I'm in a new space. I got some new babies. So I'm so excited for my YouTube channel. So please tune in. I will be doing skincare, hair, makeup, all that good stuff. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can see all that I will have going on. So enough rambling. Um, so as I was mentioning about perioral dermatitis, as I mentioned, it's pretty much like acne, girl, acne, eczema, and one. It's so bad. It's a horrible, um, it's horrible to have. <laughs> I'm just going to be straight up. Um, so... My last two videos I share with my experience. When I have my flare-ups, it's pretty much from the nose area all the way down to the mouth area. There are two kind of perioral dermatitis. Um, there is a dry one, and that's the one I've experienced. And there's also one that's pussy. Now that one is like where I feel like it's like more infected um, and you have more going on and that one is a little more, um, I would say, intense. Um, I experienced the dry perioral dermatitis. Cracky, it's skin, flaky, um, red, burning sensation, raw. That was more of my experience and what I've been experiencing throughout, my, throughout the years of my life. Um, so as I mentioned in the beginning, as I mentioned in my last video, um, I was pretty much using, I use, I mean, like I said, I've been suffering from this since what, since what I can remember. 
I've been going, I've been um, experiencing perioral dermatitis since I was like, from what I can remember, at least the fourth or like fifth grade. Um, and it was something that I was very ashamed of as a kid, but I've had it for so long. And I did try prescriptions from other doctors. I'm sorry, from dermatologists. And I, from what I remember, because it was so long ago, um, none of the things worked for me. If it did, it went away and it came right back. Um, and it's just because I didn't know what was causing um, my flare-up. But now I know what causes me to flare-up. And what causes me to flare-up may not cause you to flare-up. We're all different. Our body works differently. It responds differently. Um, so for me, pretty much, I know what causes my flare-up. So I kind of try to stay away I'm exfoliating the face. I no longer use toothpaste that contains any fluoride. Um, so yeah. So two kinds of perioral dermatitis. I had the dry, flaky, cracky one, whatever you want to call it. Um, in the beginning, I was using. I use a lot, um, as I mentioned. So I was using um, products like Aveeno. I was using products like Baby Gentle because it was so raw and sensitive to the touch red itchy i mean it's literally everything in one um the texture is i feel like it's acne and in the skin like deep within and the eczema is like the itchy and all that other stuff girl it's a hot mess <laughs> but i was using baby soap um to cleanse because it's very important to keep that area clean and making sure that you're not touching it girl um, especially now with the whole coronavirus going on, um, try to avoid putting anything in that area if you are having any flare-ups. So avoid going outside, definitely. Um, so as I was mentioning, I was using baby soap, like, you know, something gentle. I'm not really a big fan of Cetaphil, like, um, pretty much like drugstore cleansers. I'm really big on skincare and I read a lot of ingredients um, and a lot of them have like really harsh chemicals and stuff like that um, and it didn't work for me personally like the moisturizer along with the, um, the cleanser I wasn't really much of a fan of it so I don't use products like that um, but I was using coconut oil pretty much to bring that nourishment moisture back into the skin um, and coconut oil seems to pretty much drink my skin seems to pretty much drink it all up so I moved from coconut oil as I mentioned then I moved to shea butter that really um, would really you can say really uh, penetrated deep within the skin and I felt more nourished and it helped with I mean, coconut oil and um, shea butter both have really great benefits. Um, coconut oil has, I mean, it's going to help with bacteria. Um, shea butter is going to have its vitamin E. It's also going to help with its discoloration and all that other good stuff. Um, so maybe a combination of both. I try one individually. Me thinking back, I should have paired them both together. Um, but yeah, so I did that. And then pretty much to exfoliate the face, I did a cloth. But... I've found new things that it's going to help you. All right, girls, I'm about to put you on. <laughs> so my things have changed, new products. Pretty much, I'm going to just show you what I'm using today. You even got to be careful with your lip products. So for my lip, I'm using milk. It's an overnight, uh, overnight lip mask. I pretty much use it throughout the day. I'm okay with using this one. And I'm also, my uh, skin is also good with, with using the Laneige. I pretty much use, um, I think that's really going to be nice and gentle. I don't really, I'm not really big with like um, fragrance or anything like that. Along with my moisturizer. So I'm currently using the Milk. It's the Vegan Hydrating. This one's a cream, so it's very nourishing on the skin. Hydrating and it really knocks that, locks that moisture into the skin. That moisturizer is for more uh, oily, um, it's for all skin types. It leans towards more dry, so it nourishes this area really well for me. Um, 
so when my moisturizers me being that i'm oily i normally like a job but with my skin type and depending on the weather i'm kind of like gravitating towards more of a cream to keep my skin really nice and nourished uh and then i was really big that my number one uh question was um getting rid of the dark areas like skincare is something i'm really big on um so girl and eye cream i mentioned that before also my last video i treat my mouth area like i treat my under eye it's that sensitive my skin is completely different around my mouth area and for that reason when i do mask or when i do exfoliate i avoid this area before i would be like oh my god i can't use this because of the ahas and bhas and all this other stuff or you know whatever else it had in it i would like oh i gotta stay away from that and i wouldn't use it but i gave in one day and i was like you know what i'm gonna just try it and not put it around this area and girl it worked pretty out it worked pretty fine for me um so you can test maybe like if you feel like you know you need a detox or like you know a nice clay mask in your forehead or like maybe like high cheek area or like your nose go ahead boom try it out so yeah test a little small area i would definitely just avoid that mouth area and if you're currently having a flare-up or trying to pin down what's causing your flare-up definitely like note everything eliminate some things and see like what kind of like you know play it out see what's what's kind of like falling through and being what's causing that trigger i mean i'm sorry what's causing that flare-up so for me when i took notes and i was paying attention to what i was doing your girl was over exfoliating and i was exfoliating here because i have a lot of texture due to the perioral dermatitis but that's something that's a no-no you can't treat this here like you like i'm treating my forehead you know what i'm saying or like i'm treating my nose that's a no-no for us so as i am i'm sorry i'm all over the place i'm just trying to get everything out <laughs> but as i mentioned that my main question that i kept getting was how to pretty much treat the discoloration so again i treat this area as my under eye so with that being said, I use an under eye cream around my mouth area. So you want to make sure it is, you don't have to use what I'm using. You can use what's going to work for you and your budget, but just make sure that they have these concerns because they're going to be your main concerns as well. Um, so I love the, I'm girl, I'm still using them every time I run out, I'm back getting another one. Um, but it's Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. This one here, you want to make sure that you're grabbing a 360 under eye cream. Um, so you can pretty much put it around the eye area. You want to pop it onto that brow bone, girl. Yes, because we want to prevent, right? <laughs> and then you want to bring it down to that smile line. So that's personally what I do. But bring it down to the smile line, girl, I'm extra. I go all around the mouth area to really cover those areas to help me with my main concern because that's our discoloration right so this under eye cream is going to help with discoloration this one uh, also focuses on depuffing the under eye keeping it really nice and bright and smooth right we want that so that's what my under eye cream does i also got a really like uh bougie one <laughs> this is the drunk elephant this one's bomb it's more expensive it's definitely more pricier but it's also another 360 uh that one it's i feel like it's a little more nourishing and it has more um it's higher in vitamin c and it's firming and brightening so that's a really another good one there so that's my moisturizer and under eye cream so for your moisturizer you just want to make sure that you're using um something that's going to be really nice and nourishing that's the main thing if you have the uh, perioral dermatitis, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have the perioral dermatitis, that's going to be dry. Now, if you have, if you're experiencing the perioral dermatitis where it's like really red and has pussy um, little areas, then I would definitely incorporate some tea tree that's going to help kill uh, bacteria 
and so much more. I did incorporate that before. So when I'm, I'm feeling a little something coming through and I'm being a little too extra on my skin, your girl is tea tree throughout my face at night. And that's how I sleep. Um, and then, you know, I keep up with my skin. So keeping up with your skin is also very important. Not just for when you have a moment and you're like, okay, girl, I, I got you. No, you always have to have your skin. Because, girl, who going who gonna to back you up? <laughs> These products. So, I just got a whole bunch of stuff here um, that I like to use. And I wanted to share with you guys. So, going forward, my cleanser. Um, I go back and forth. I like to use Gentle. Um, I was using the First Day Beauty cleanser. That one's really good. Um, it, it's really nourishing. It's creamy. So it doesn't like strip you out. Um, I like that one when I'm having those days where I'm like really dry. But normally this is another one that I, I love, Bosha. This one's a little more intense. Um, it's a detox. It's a gel. Um, and it warms up and it opens up those pores and just takes everything right out. Um, but it's also really nice and gentle being that it's a gel form. Um, and it foams up really, it lathers up really nicely on the skin. It warms up and it just removes everything without being so, um, I mentioned intense because it's a charcoal. So it really like does the job without being so harsh on the skin. If that makes sense. <laughs> so moving forward. So that's the Bosha. Um, so like I mentioned for the uh, moisturizers, I like to do like a gel. Um, this is another one. I love Kiehl's. I was talking about Kiehl's the last time in my, um, my last video. I was, I mentioned the under eye cream from Kiehl's in my last video. And that's this one here. This is another really good one. However, this one really focuses on, um, keeping that nourishment in the area. Um, and I kind of like a little more new thing. So that's why I kind of gravitated towards some new eye creams. Um, I've been going back to the moisturizers. I love Kiehl's. They have a bomb water cream and the ingredients on these are bomb. I mean, it's very clean. I'm not going to go into all that right now, but you can definitely look this up. They are at Macy's. You can find them at their what? Uh, Kiehl's.com, <laughs> Sephora and all that other good stuff. And I believe that also. Um, another product is the Kiehl's Avocado Mask. Girl, this is so nourishing on the skin. This, you can sleep and it's hydrating. It's going to soothe you out. It's so bomb. It's going to soften the skin and it's going to really make your skin feel nice and calm. Um, so this is another one that I love as well. Kiehl's overall is a really nice brand. I feel like it really gives you, um, you really get what you pay for. Uh, and I'm also currently using the toner as well. Now, this one here is alcohol-free. And paying attention to your ingredients is definitely very important. So, read. Look at, look at reviews. I mean, I'm really big on doing things like that. So, that's why I found things that have worked for me. And another one throughout the day, I like to use the Youth to the People. Um, and it's just a hydrating mist on the face. So jumping into an exfoliator girl. Before I was gently removing. I know no better. I didn't know no better. <laughs> I was using a cloth to remove the dead skin off my face. Um, because I'm so sensitive. What caused my really... I had the most horrible flare-up i ever had what caused that flare-up was me exfoliating skin so when it comes to me exfoliating my skin i be so scared and i'm very particular on what i'm using and how i'm using it and where i'm using it so i recently found huda huda beauty she came out with her own skincare line and this is wishful it's a brightening it's, I'm sorry, it's a Yo Glow scrub. Oh my God. It's, I'm sorry, it's a Yo Glow scrub. Oh my God, this stuff is so good. 
it's so gentle so extremely gentle my like i don't feel anything and it does so much i use it for my lips all over the face Ugh. can't talk i use it for my lips i use it for all over the face and then afterwards it literally leaves you it leaves you a beautiful glowy skin it's so bomb this is the only thing that i can exfoliate all over the face with including my lips now if i can do that you know this is some good stuff like oh girl i'm about to order me another one just for backup <laughs> so yes so those are all the products that i'm currently using in my skincare routine and how i keep up with my skincare with my peri or dermatitis whenever i'm having any flare-ups whenever i'm feeling every anything like not even any flare-ups whenever i feel anything that's coming in um because you're gonna feel you're gonna instantly feel it if you've experienced it um or not you're gonna feel it you're gonna feel that girl you're gonna be like hold up wait what are we doing <laughs> so yes i just wanted to share i did want to just come back and do a follow-up and share some new products that I'm using um, and so the main thing is to try to think back to see what's causing you you to flare up because um, what's causing me to flare up may not be what's causing you to flare up so really think back take notes remember if you're trying any new things even if it's a lipstick or a new cleanser or if you're eating something new new toothpaste anything like that I know fluoride plays another role in it as well um, so yeah, maybe you can try eliminating fluoride from your toothpaste to see if that does anything for you. Um, yeah, but I hope that anything, I hope that, I hope that I'm helping somebody out there. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please leave them down below. I will be doing another video after this, you know, record some skincare. If you guys have any questions about my makeup, um, what products I'm using or like any products that you do you guys have any questions on like my foundations and powders or primers or anything like that please leave them down below or head over to my next uh video go check that out sis go see what I'm using for our skin type because you know we I got you girl I got you just click click here here <laughs> All right, guys, so I hope that this video was helpful in some type of way. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, you better not forget to like and subscribe. All right, guys, y'all have a beautiful, blessed one.